Yo, what's up? It's Hype then. Um, just before this video starts, this is me from the future. I forgot to do comment of the day, so um, here it is. Here's the comment on the screen right now. Uh, yeah, thanks for the comment and uh, peace. Hey, what's up? It's Hype then. And in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to um, overclock your GTX 1063 gigabyte. Make sure you have good, uh, like a good cooling system in your computer water cooling or just like really good fans or just like just a way that your computer can cool easily um so actually when you're starting this off uh you want to go to your task manager um my cpu and stuff right now is really high right now because i'm rendering a video but if you're if you're on your desktop and you have nothing open at all and your gpu goes above like 40 or 50 then you don't want to do this but um if you do want to do this um you'll need msi afterburner it's free um there will be a link in the description if you need to know how to install it uh I just try to scroll down to the bottom of the page and get msi afterburner you can get msi combustor if you want to do like a test with your graphics card but um other than that do this at your own risk i'm not saying you should do this but i it works perfectly for me and i have a 1063 gigabyte and it's also overclocking the memory on the graphics card your graphics card will have a shorter time span of how long it works which i mean you, you're only gonna have a 1060 for like maybe four or five years like at most but most people keep them for like two or three years um so they'll probably last like seven or eight years if like you don't constantly run this only run this when you're like maybe streaming or recording a game or like when you're playing like warzone or something like a game that requires a lot of resources but this tutorial be advised this tutorial is only for the gtx 1063 gigabyte um so after that you just after what i said you need to have msi after burning downloaded you gotta open it so everything should look normal uh basically what you want to do is just copy my settings core voltage plus 30 power limit 116 temp limit 92 core clock mhz put it to 200 if you put it above that your computer might crash also if this is turned on turn it off because if your computer gets too hot it will automatically turn off so you don't have to worry about that but uh, if this is like lit up like that and it's red around it like that, click it again to turn it off so it's like dark. Because if your computer crashes and, and this is what causes it to crash, then um, you don't want it to start up every single time. So uh, this is my profile right here. You want to copy all these settings, uh, memory clock, and your fan speed, turn it up to 100. Because uh, if you're doing this, you probably want to have your fans at 100 so um you might hear your fans your computer might start flying away taking flight i don't know mine does that sometimes but uh yeah hopefully this helped if you wanted to learn how to overclock like i said make sure your gpu is not overheating or anything like that um and uh yeah thanks for watching peace